Okay, so I'm just going to talk about a World War I military secret from the German side, which is called age hardening of aluminium. You'll note it, or it's also called precipitation hardening, or it might be called solution hard. Uh, sorry, it might be called dispersion strengthening in a steel. It's all exactly the same thing. This is a World War I military secret. This is why the Germans had the air superiority in World War I, because they could build planes out of aluminium, when the British could only build planes out of timber. So, World War I military secret. What happens in an aluminium? They discover this purely by accident. A lot of metallurgical discoveries were made by accident. Stainless steel was found by the British, trying to make gun barrels. They alloyed with chromium. They put 18% chromium in a steel to see how it affected the hardness. It did. They put it out the back, and they went out three months later, and it hadn't rusted. And they went, oh, we just made a steel that doesn't rust. No um, thought behind it. It was just sheer pure luck. This guy in Germany did the same thing. He had aluminium. He was adding copper to it to see what it did to strength. So as you know, aluminium and copper starts out just being random copper, out, copper atoms inside the aluminium matrix. Just a solid solution strengthening. It provides some solid solution strengthening because they're different sizes. So he tested it on Friday afternoon. He went away for the weekend and he came back Monday morning. And he found it had increased in strength by about 20 or 30 per cent. Shook his head and did another test to make sure the machine was accurate. And yep, test was right, checked the machine, the machine was right. He found, just through sheer dumb luck, the fact he ran this test on a Friday afternoon and then got halfway through it, came back Monday, he found a way to make aluminium strong. And here's what's actually happening. The aluminium, when you melt, the copper and the aluminium, and you cool it quickly, the atoms cannot, the atoms get trapped in whatever state they're in when they solidified. So you've just got a random arrangement of copper aluminium, copper atoms through aluminium. But when you leave it for the weekend, that becomes aluminium, that becomes aluminium, that becomes copper, that becomes aluminium. It forms what they call an intermetallic. And if you look in here, you can see, I'll colour it in in blue, that is an intermetallic. It is now a precipitate. It is locked together, no longer with just metallic bonds, so the atoms can move freely, but it's locked together now with covalent bonds as a chemical compound. So it's physically making chemical compounds inside the aluminium. Tiny little precipitates. Now if I want to move this atom across, of course, as well, it expands a bit. It's pushing out here in all directions. So, because it's pushing out in all directions, now if I try and push this atom across, it goes, uh-uh, no way. You have a strong metal, simply because you need time to make that happen. In your syllabus in aeronautical, it talks about aluminium copper alloys. That's what's happening. You're making age hardening aluminium. This is still what they use today for aircraft skins. Still what they use today for rivets.